I do want to begin by acknowledging the traditional owners of country throughout Australia and pay my respects to elders and extend that respect to all Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people present in the audience there in Perth this morning. I'd have loved to be with you personally, but uh, I can't, unfortunately, as you launch this exciting new partnership in Western Australia. But I do know that it's a partnership that will directly and dramatically improve the lives of at least 70 young individuals. Through your work, you're opening a pathway to success for a group of young people who may have seen a dispiriting number of closed doors in front of them in the past. You're allowing families to offer their children a start in life that previously they may only have dreamed of. And you're saying to the young people involved and young Aboriginal people everywhere that you believe in them and in their ability to succeed. I share that belief. The Australian government's extremely proud to support the Australian Indigenous Education Foundation. A few years ago, Andrew came to the government with a great idea had a wealth of energy and a can-do attitude. And we were impressed with his bold vision. We pledged $20 million if he could convince corporate Australia to share that vision. Off he went. And what he found was boardrooms and businesses across the country eager to play a role. Fact is, there's no time in our history when we've seen corporate Australia bring so much to the table in the national effort at closing the gap. And today we're celebrating the start of a corporate partnership that is the biggest of the AIEF's work to date. To BHP Billiton, I want to say this. You are recognised as an iconic Australian company and the leadership you've shown in this area sets a very high benchmark for other Australian companies to follow. I do congratulate you for your work and support as we build the education opportunities for young Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander students. We're proud to be in this partnership with you. The announcement that's been made here this morning represents the very best of what Australians can do in the face of enormous challenge. It combines the efforts of government, business and civil society to say to our young people, if you work hard, we will support you. If you seek out an opportunity, we will do our best to provide it. If you have high expectations of yourself, so do we, and you can succeed. And I'm excited to see AIEF expand its work into Western Australia. I look forward to meeting the young people who'll benefit from your efforts. One day, one of those young men or women may be standing here where I am now as a minister in the parliament or there where you are as a director of Australia's biggest company or anywhere else they choose to aim. Those choices are what a great education makes possible. And on behalf of all Australians who want those choices to be available for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander children, as much as for any other children, I thank you for your work. 